starting to brew beer again at Milwaukee campus of Molson Coors for the first time since last week's tragic shooting. Now, that word today from company officials, but our Ryan Jenkins explains the company is now met with a new set of internal challenges. Uh, our family's still breathing. Employees are returning to work at the Molson Coors Brewery, but things are far from normal. The emotional toll that people feel after what happened last week still weighs heavy. There's also the news that Anthony Farrell, the gunman, was a subject of racial harassment years ago when a noose was found in his locker. We are doing a deep introspection as an, as an organization. We're going to go head on and we're going to address those cultural issues. Announcing their full commitment, company leaders are now looking to outside resources to help address those issues while also helping employees and their families cope in the aftermath of this mass shooting. We've had over the last few days grief counselors, and trauma experts. Spokesman Adam Collins saying those resources will remain in place until they're no longer needed and that it could be days before all of the more than 1,000 people who work here come back. The restart of the operations is going to be intentionally slow because while some people are ready to come back and to get back to a sense of normalcy, others are not. Police do not believe racism or race was a motivator in last week's shootings. Instead, they believe mental health had a role to play. The investigation into that motive continues today. Reporting in Miller Valley, Ryan Jenkins, TMJ4 News. All right, Ryan, and a little bit more on what Ryan was talking about. Their new developments on the investigation as Milwaukee police are downplaying rumors of a racial component to the motive. Police say they are, quote, not aware of any of the victims targeted in the mass shooting being involved in any inappropriate or racist behavior toward the suspect, unquote. Milwaukee Chief of Police Alfonso Morales says it appears the suspect and some of the victims were actually friends and says it appears to be related to a mental health issue. So I'm going to go out on the limb on this one and say that I believe this was more mental health issues. And uh, as we de develop that, just based on the information that we're getting, that's where it's leading us. Milwaukee Police say Farrell did not leave a suicide note. They expect their investigation will continue for the next several weeks. Here again are the five victims killed in last Wednesday's shooting. Jesus Valle, Trevor Wetzelar, Dale Hudson, Jean Levschitz, and Dana Walk. Later today, family and friends will honor Walk's life at a memorial at St. Anthony on the Lake Catholic Church. That's in Pewaukee. Services from 4 until 7. Meantime, an online fundraiser has surpassed its million-dollar goal thanks to more than 1,500 donors from across 50 states. If you'd like to help, there's a link up at TMJ4.com. A lot of people are doing positive things in the wake of the tragedy. We are sharing those stories right now on TMJ4.com slash Milwaukee Strong.